All right, back to Star Pack for one of the couple of remaining unpublished five of a kinds from way back. This is from the end of January. And uh, here we're just positioning on turn four to have as many level ups as possible. Um, I've got the extra pill bug frozen so we can get three if I really want to. And the Kiwis are just there to buff whatever we get. I think from the uh, from the thumbnail you probably can guess what it's going to be. And uh, so we'll take the first level and it is Anteater. And we'll take the second and it's another Anteater. So the course of the run is set. And the, on the only slight problem with this setup I've got here, although it's um, pretty good for turn five, is that um, if I want the pill bugs, actually I suppose this, this is an odd number turn so I could have moved them back, but um, if I want the pill bugs to buff the anteaters, then the anteaters have to be behind the pill bugs. And therefore at the end, the ant, the final ant will have nothing to buff. But eventually that won't be a problem. And since we've already committed to one strawberry, um, we might as well get another one on there because we can be prepared for shoe bill appearing. Um, I don't think I use it that much in this run. I'm, maybe it's only one or two turns. We'll uh, we'll have to see. But um, we're poised with uh, the two uh, level two pill bugs to get a, a level up next turn, and that's where uh, shoe bill will be available. Now here's another situation where it looks like you know we might lose, but because the anteater double spawns, um, we end up winning. And we combine the pill bugs now, and we get polar bear. So I'm going to put uh, polar bear at the back of the team. So now there's something there for uh, anteater to buff, and we actually roll into double anteater. And I think, um, yeah, I'm. I should have just bought one there. I'm not really sure why I didn't. But um, I don't think it matters too much. Uh, we're just going to keep one of them in the uh, back to tank. And uh, this should be an easy one, I think. Yep. Again, Anteater in the mid game in pack three, much better than uh, in general. I, I did upload quite a while ago, I uploaded, um, a dub uh, I think it was two attempts in one video on five Anteaters, but it was in custom packs. Um, and I think it's just much better here. So I'm going to buy the third one and leave the one that has the larger stats. And we're going to get another one already. And look to level up the polar bear as soon as possible so that um, it really starts stacking buffs onto the frozen anteater. So talking about stacking buffs, here's someone who's just invested absolutely everything into the um, iguana. Very common to see that in pack three. Not very, not all that common to see um, triple uh, pelican at the back, but um, the one unit is definitely very uh, prevalent in um, in pack three. So turn nine, we're I think we're starting to slow down a little bit in terms of uh, how good our team is, um, and I decide to sell the pill bug, so I've got a space to buy sell zebra. Unfortunately, one of the hit one of the uh, the um, buffs hits uh, the polar bear and I think yeah I'm going to bring hamster in at the front and the hamster is just there for next turn so I get a couple of extra rolls and big jellyfish although we do we should have no we don't quite have enough do we it's difficult to tell here it's another one of these teams where they've got an awful lot of stats oh we do get the 50-50 shot there and yeah the, the backline units don't have any attack it's all um it's all health. You really got to look out for um, a lollipop when you're playing uh, orangutan like that. Um, so here I'm just going to buy some uh, tacos for extra attack. And w we do get the shoe bill here. And since I I do have two, um, or, uh, two uh, strawberries, it is definitely worth it to take it, even if it's only just for one turn. And unfortunately, you can see here one of the issues with having multiple anteaters is when you face um, Seahorse, you're gonna end up uh, having the backline unit pushed forwards and it ends up messing up the uh, the order. So sell shoe bill and then we'll just take the level on, I think I take it on the anteater, yeah. Um, at this point, 
I'm not sure if I should give up on the polar bear or not, but I, I'm, it's only a level one polar bear as well, which is even stranger, really. Um, it's probably not worth, you know, keeping all those stats out of the team. And again, we go against Seahorse. It's, it's, it's so common in pack three, and it's, it really should have been changed a long time ago. I know I say that every time, but it's just so strong. Um, it may be a bit less strong in pack three compared to uh, customs, but um, we do find another anteater here and I get the chocolate. Now, once you start moving into four anteaters, if you, you know, it doesn't matter which way you do it. If you put, you put one at the front, you miss out an ant. If you put uh, the fifth unit at the front, you miss out on ant buffs landing on it, you know, so um, we're just gonna put the, the new one right at the front and leave it. And this team has an opposing anti air and we just narrowly uh, have enough uh, attack there to to beat them. And although the uh, this team has saber tooth, we're gonna we're gonna win no problem. I think we're getting a little bit easier opponents since we're down to two hearts. Um, we'll take the level up here, I think, on the second anti air. The extra stats from the uh, from the level two ants make such a difference. Um, probably a bit dubious to take the level up on the polar bear here because we've not got very many turns left so even if I do get the level um, it's not going to be buffing the frozen unit for much longer in fact for you know next from next turn we're going to have to um, put it into the team anyway and although the spino does give the uh, um, the mantis the buff there I think we might be on course for a draw here. Oh, is it going to be? Uh, we actually the ant buffs are just enough to get a win. So yeah, you can see here like this situation. Um, I didn't find a polar bear, so you know, giving it the choc uh, the chocolate or level partially leveling up wasn't worth it. Another ant eater. <laughs> um. And we're also facing jellyfish, and we get uh, actually that that ant buff didn't really make any difference. Um, but again, it's difficult to tell if we're going to win. But the ant is very useful there in clearing the cheese, and actually in the end, it's going to be a pretty straightforward win, I think. Yeah, three HP to spare. So now the uh, the big ant eater has to come in. It's been frozen for a very long time. And we'll just buy sell these zebras, which is very nice that they happen to appear. And I think uh, I could just take the um, fried shrimp on the front anteater. I can't remember exactly what I do here. I'm I'm thinking about this, um, trying to position the um, the level twos. You don't want them at the back because then that's an awful lot of stats get wasted. And we'll give cheese to the front guy so he does a little bit more damage. And we've got another one frozen for a, for a potential third level two. And we go against a big level up team. Um, and uh, Donkey moves uh, the unit to the front. And again, it moves, <laughs> moves the unit to the front. It's really difficult to keep track of, uh, of what's happening. And I actually think, I, I could be wrong, but I feel like the Donkey really didn't help them there. And uh, the five anteater team gets over the line. So I'm um, glad to finally have that one done and uh, exercises some demons from the, uh, the, the fails in the past.